Hello, brothers and sisters. Cameron here. I hope that your week is going well. Thanks for joining me. I'm sure you saw the title of this. I, I, um, I'm, I'm a little beside myself with uh, emotion and what to feel exactly. I'm just, I'm very excited and happy. I've been talking with Erwin Zalkin for a, off and on a little over a year. And I got involved with him because when I woke up from the Jehovah's Witnesses and I realized what it had been done to me as a child was not okay. And it wasn't bringing reproach on Jehovah's name by talking about it and speaking about it and the pain that I went through and the trouble that my mother went through as a Jehovah's Witness. We were born and raised. If you're first time on this channel, I was uh, born and raised as a Jehovah's Witness by my mother. They got her when she was in her early 20s and she was pregnant with me. And they convinced her that Satan, the devil, controlled the world, her family, and the universe. Um, so she ran away to a small town and gave birth to me where I knew nothing but Jehovah's Witnesses. And I was taken advantage of several times as a child. She, I found out some information about her and I'm not sure how much I can talk about or should talk about here. Um, but there's some vlogs where I've gotten elders on camera admitting and saying certain things. And now that you helped me get a MacBook because my, most of my gear broke and died, I'm working on hustling hard and trying to replace the camera. The vlog is about to change. I'm really excited about that. Um, I can talk about this. And I'm trying to be careful what I should and shouldn't say because I, I am talking to a lawyer. And I just, it's actually, it's been a, a few weeks that I've known this, maybe about a month or so, but it, that Erwin gave me the call and I signed the documents and we're moving forward with my case. So I'm really excited to finally have help on this. It's, it's been something that's definitely fucked up my life as an adult, you know, growing up in the Jehovah's Witnesses, you're told, oh, don't say anything, don't speak about it, uh, leave it in Jehovah's hands, they'll take care of it. And they did, they did, they did nothing. Um, I've, I've publicly come out about this on the vlog and other pieces, and you might be able to see that as well, but it's, uh, it's something that weighs on you as an adult, you know, when you've been through child sexual abuse and then you find out that the religion as a whole hides it and doesn't do anything about it. And I'm gonna do some more research on the footage that I've captured that I hasn't, haven't been able to show because I've had nothing to edit on, just my phone, the last four months. How much of that can I show? Because it's, it's basically admissible evidence. And admissible evidence is the same thing as like if you walk into a gas station and they have cameras everywhere, they're just having cameras for safety reasons because they think someone might, you know, rob the store or steal something or something like that. Um, it's a, that's admissible evidence, you know, without your permission, they're recording. So I recorded them uh, from the 2019 uh, memorial, which is a traumatic experience. And then the elders, I got in touch with them and I, I went after a certain elder because I knew that his children had been abused and I was hoping to, touch some piece of humanity inside of them and you'll see that footage hopefully soon i just have to do some research and ask a couple of people like how much can i can i show where i can use this admissible evidence um i don't i don't know the whole that last month has been weird i i've been there are months where it's, it's really good and you feel like you're conquering life and you're getting shit done, which I'm still doing. I'm still conquering life. I'm still getting shit done. I'm working harder and harder. And I'm trying, you know, I'm on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube now. If you're if you're not following me already, you should at Cameron Fader on any of those platforms. TikTok is awesome. There's a lot of XJWs on there. A lot of people think it's just for like eight, nine, ten year olds and like learning little cousins. That's true. There's adults on there and a lot of opportunity for other XJWs and just a new way to connect and communicate. I'm on there hoping to reach the younger ones and, and provide an outlet for them to be themselves. Because a lot of times the outlets for our, us to be ourselves in the ways that we woke up is because of the internet. It's because of YouTube, because of Instagram, and now probably TikTok. Um, it's fucking amazing. So please take advantage of it and, and just look at it as another window to express ourselves as ex Jehovah's Witnesses and, and share a message. Um, I, so to the main point, it takes me five minutes to get to this because I'm feeling like it's been a weird depressive month. The last year I've had um, two or three months, this is probably the third, where I felt just straight depression where I'm just laying in bed and I don't want to get up and I don't want to leave the house. 
Um, I need to go probably talk to a therapist again, but I've, I, this has also been the best year of my life where I've become more authentically me, figuring out who I am, my sense of humor, my confidence and stamina and my my happiness has gone through the fucking roof, but that doesn't mean that you know you don't feel shit and you feel down sometimes and, and just going through it. But being able to pinpoint it and going, that's what fucked me up. Or that's probably why I feel this way or that's why I have my ego is hurt or my you know self-esteem is really bad. Being able to pinpoint that and put it in its place and not let it control you as much or at all is, is a huge key. So I'm going through it right now, but I'll be back on the vlog. I'm still doing these until I can do the, the, the really, really cool stuff. I have a lot of ideas, some really exciting things to, to launch and offer. This is my goal on this vlog, is just to give and share as much as possible. I wanna go out as a legend. Not because I want like, you know, all, uh, all kinds of attention, all that's, that's pretty cool. Um, that's a side benefit. I wanna go out as a legend no, being known as the person who, who gave the most and fought the most and swung the most for my brothers and sisters, because we still are brothers and sisters, just fighting a different fight. Um, this is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm like okay right now, but the last few days I've been like kind of tearing up each night, and I've been going through some other personal shit. Um, yeah. Um, I just want everyone to know that's watching this vlog that you're, you're not alone. Um, your pain is real. And when you're out of the cult and your pain is validated. It's such a relief. such a fucking relief. The things that happened to us as kids were not normal. It wasn't okay. <laughs> and you deserve better in Watchtower and the Jehovah's Witnesses, the governing body. <laughs> They'll get what's coming to them. <laughs> Earliest, earlier this year, I was on a special with Mark Albert and I was with 13 other child abuse survivors. And we talked about our stories and <laughs> there was very few men. There was only three guys there that admitted that something had happened to them. The rest were women. And I felt all their stories. I was in tears. <laughs> After the first girl started talking, it was Star. <laughs> and the things that happened to these people were unbelievable. And when that special comes out, I'll share it because these stories need to be told. Normally, this is something I would cut out. I wouldn't even cry on camera, but this still affects me as an adult. And then being woke enough, and then we're cast out and lose our friends and our family. Those people were toxic. We don't need them in our lives, but it's still there. The pain is there because you spent so many years being lied to and manipulated. I just hope that this validates you. You're not alone. I mean, and thank you for being a huge part of my life and my growth. The last three years of vlogging, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep going strong. And right now, this, this, is, this is a depressive moment because I'm just feeling all the emotions, all the memories are coming back. The pain is coming back. And you just have to let it happen sometimes. Sometimes you have to put a smile on your face and do whatever you gotta do, like maybe you're going to work or something. But I know that I didn't do this and it's not my fault. You know, what happened to you is not your fault.
I'm just happy that you know guys like Erwin Zalkin are around and they're they're doing the work. Watchtowers is gonna get theirs. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because it's the right thing. It's the reason why I push so hard on SB 360. We've got a bill going on to help stop all religions from hiding child abuse. This has got to fucking stop. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life working on this so we can put a dent in the system because the churches and organized religion has fucked the system up and made it so they can hide and get away with all of this shit. These motherfuckers are gonna pay. I hope that by seeing this, this encourages you to keep going. Don't stop. Recognize your pain. And if you're angry, then you gotta talk, you gotta let it out. You've gotta find someone to talk to. I think my next, I just ran a, a poll on Instagram asking about depression if anyone wanted to talk about it. And, and this is, this, this happens. But I know that after I get this good cry out of my system the rest of the day, I'm gonna be able to carry on with my fucking life. It's been off and on like this for about a month. And then it goes away. And then it, I'll be good for like three to four months and I'll have another state. It just, the more time goes by. The more I can deal with it. Um, there's so many things that go into dealing with depression and, and pain. But if you, if you yeah. yourself have been a victim of child sex abuse, or even, you know, as an adult, especially if you're male, because there's so many females and it's nothing against women, but there's more men that need to speak up because we're so shamed as men to, to not have emotions and to not cry and to not be ourselves. Like it's my goal in life to become an awesome alpha male, but I still have emotions and I still feel and I still have pain. And I miss my mom and I miss my family. But I have a much cooler family now. And I went looking for them. They're much happier. I'm not in a box. I'm not being told my abuse is fake and then I need to just pray to Jehovah and pioneer more and go to Bethel and not deal with my issues. I'm not being bullied by elders anymore. I'm not seeing coming home to my mom just depressed out of her mind and not able to deal with reality. The background we came out was toxic. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I love you all. It gets better and there's still moments like this. <laughs> you gotta let it out. You can't hold it in. I'll update you all in the vlog as this continues with uh, the updates from Erwin Zalkin. Um, they got details from me uh, about a year ago. We talked. I told them about what happened. Uh, I talked to other people too. There's a bunch of things that we're, we're fighting against. Like there's a statute of limitations on a bill that I hope gets passed. I'm going to try to focus more energy on that next year. If it does or doesn't get passed, see any way I can help. It's a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice, but someone's got to do it. And with your help, I've been able to make it this far. And I want to see how much farther we can go. I'm doing this for ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, ex-Mormons, ex-Scientologists, New Life Church, cult survivors. Like, there's so many. We deserve to be people and human. And the systemic racism and sexism and hate and child abuse and low self-esteem is... I think society is starting to slowly realize that it's, got a, it's, it's the way we were, we were raised by people who were just trying to be controlling and who didn't have their shit get together, together either. But this year has been amazing. I love you all. So like that, it's starting to go away. I can focus. We can do this. I'll give you updates. Please subscribe on the YouTube channel. Find me on Instagram. Shoot me a message. I'll say hi. It does take me a few weeks to respond because I've got so many. And definitely come say hi on TikTok. That's, that stuff's really cool. It's, a, it's really, it's like a meme generator. You get to 
you know, poke fun at Jehovah's Witness and society and, 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 and say the way things that you want to say. And it's comedy, so you can say anything. And as long as you're not, you know, actually hateful, it's, it's really funny. Love you all, brothers and sisters. I actually got to go. I'm about ready to go to work. And I hope the rest of your day is, is killer. And I hope that this provides some validation on how you feel. And it will get better because life this year is the best year of my life so far. And next year is going to be even better. Brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next vlog.